What's up guys? This is King Daddy DMAC and welcome back to another episode or kind of second part half episode of Let's Play Minecraft. But um, just to make the uh, video lengths a little bit shorter because I know you guys like to have longer videos. Some of you, but some of you are really turned off by having 45 minute to hour long episodes. So I might start splitting them up like this and, um, you know, have them in two parts, about both still at least 30 minutes long. But anywho, in this episode, I just wanted to spend some time to talk about comments that people left in my videos. And um, I'm kind of, before I used to always reply to the comments right then and there, but... Um, I think, and I've been doing this lately, and I think from now on I'm not going to really reply to comments that are on videos, at least on the actual video. And instead, I will periodically um, talk about them in videos themselves. You know, things that I think are more important, and so forth. But anyway, uh, one comment that I've been getting pretty often lately. I've seen it enough times to actually remember it. Oh, and by the way, I moved to the portal from the up... This is the spider spawner uh, trap. I moved the portal that was way up high down to here so that it's a lot easier. You don't have to run back and forth. And that's the whole purpose of having the nether portal hubs is to make things simpler. But we never had really a chance to collect that many spider eyes. So I think I might spend a bit of time doing that right now. I changed it up a little bit. Still needs a lot of tweaking. But I've just kind of been lazy with it. I hate working with these spiders. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, been seeing a lot of comments about, A, I should have a ghast farm. When will I make a ghast farm? Well, honestly, I do, I mean, I'm sure I'll attempt it at some point, but I really don't see the purpose. Um, gas, well, I guess they drop the tiers, which is kind of nice, but um, gas only dropped 5 XP, which is the same as a spider, or a zombie, or a skeleton, or a creeper. There's nothing, you know, I saw people saying, oh, make a gas farm, you'll get up to level 50 in seconds. Not true. Um, it's a huge pain in the ass because the way ghasts spawn, it really, they, they spawn on a block, but they can spawn anywhere. Um, and it, it's pretty difficult to control. Um, if I were going to do it, I'd probably have to half slab out the entire, like, 144 blocks in the nether. And, um, except for, you know, a small little area. And that does not sound like a very fun project to me, because it would take forever. I do, however, see... I'm thinking that... I've seen some pigment farms, zombie pigment farms, that don't... It doesn't seem as difficult as I originally thought. So I may do that, just because I see gold as being a much bigger... Uh, use, a lot more usefulness than just a gas tier. But if gas tiers end up... Uh, you know, end up doing more than just regen potions and, um, you know, or any other changes. We'll definitely do a gas farm. Um, I talked a little bit, a lot of people I've been noticing been asking about the video quality. I talked about that briefly in the last uh, video that I just did. And that is, like I said, more or less because I record on a laptop. Um, my laptop, it, it's a very good laptop. It can handle the game fine. I can record in better quality if I choose to, but the real issue is my computer overheats, and this happens very frequently. Um, I cannot run the highest settings, I can't run the highest frame rates, um, I have to record in, you know, the little half screen in Skype, or Skype, in, um, in Fraps, and it's, it's just really a pain in the ass. Um, you know, the answer is I have to get a better computer, I have to get a desktop, something that won't have issues with overheating. Um, I don't know when that's going to happen or if it will happen because 
if I were to get one, I'd probably end up spending several thousand dollars on it. And, um, you know, I don't have a monitor. I'd have to get a new monitor as well, which costs a lot. And, you know, the whole thing, I, I really don't know what I'm going to do about it. I may decide to possibly start taking donations. You know, I'm kind of, I'm not against donations, but I kind of feel slimy asking for money from people. But if it can be, I guess, towards making better videos, better quality, and also more frequently, because it takes me a long, you know, I, I spend one day recording, and then the next day is all editing and rendering. So it's, I can't really put out a video every day unless I make it really short. However, if I had a better computer that could handle these things quicker and um, without overheating, then, you know, everything could change. I could go to uploading every day. But anyway, that's that's towards the future, and we'll see. Um, I had some comments lately because I showed in that cow farm video me breaking all the wheat. You should make a wheat farm. You should make an auto wheat farm. Well, I have two of them already. You guys must be in, you know, I, I'm very happy that I have newer viewers um, that haven't watched all my videos and have missed out on some of those because, you know, our, our most of my wheat farms I did um, in the earlier videos. And, um, you know, I, I, I do want to say welcome to all of you new viewers. I'm really excited about it because I have a lot of people that subscribe to me purely for Minecraft at this point. Um, I did get famous on YouTube, or, you know, where I am today. I don't know that I'd say I'm famous, but I got to where I am today uh, mostly off of Pokemon videos. And uh, it's really neat to actually have people that watch me just for Minecraft now. And I know I've focused on it pretty exclusively. Um, I am going to start uploading more Pokemon videos, Wi-Fi battles anyway, um, for Black and White 2 that just came out. And most of you are probably like, oh my god, Pokemon, are you kidding me? But it, it's a good game. There's a lot of strategy involved in it, and um, I enjoy it. So... You will probably be seeing a bit more of that as well. But I want to thank you for uh, all you new people that are watching me. Um, and I will plan to make a much more extensive auto wheat farm as well. Um, now that we need it for the animal breeding, I'm going to make some more animal breeders. And, um, yeah. Um, let's see, other things. Been getting a lot of people saying, you should be in Minecraft server, Minecraft server, DMAC for Minecraft server. That would be absolutely amazing. Um, however, I doubt anyone in Minecraft knows I exist, and I don't really think they're looking for new people in their server. Um, I really don't know. I don't know. Um, most of the guys in the Minecraft server, specifically Etho, um, is kind of why I got into Minecraft in the first place. Uh, you know, if you watch the majority of people out there that YouTube, they, they really have no freaking clue what the hell they're doing in Minecraft. And I found it pretty boring. But once I started watching people like Etho, that actually knew what they were doing, and, you know, showed how to make all these fun redstone contraptions and, uh, traps and stuff like that, it really brought new life to the game. So, I mean, I would be absolutely thrilled but i really don't know how to go about getting their attention um i generally with youtube have just waited until people notice me but when it comes to things like minecraft where you know people have hundreds of thousands of subscribers and they're still not you know among the biggest the biggest ones take yogs cast have what two million subscribers it's kind of unrealistic that I'd actually get noticed so by them without any help. So I really don't know. Um, I do want to get more involved with the server. And I don't have a lot of time. And I've been invited to a lot of servers from my viewers. Which I thank you so much for. It's, it's really amazing and awesome that you'd want me to come and play with you. That sounded kind of pedo-ish. I did not mean for it to... <laughs> But, um, yeah, I, I, if I'm going to get involved with a server, I want to get involved with one with people that know what they're doing, and uh, also YouTube. 
because I, you know, I'd like to be able to upload those videos and use it towards furthering my YouTube career with Minecraft. So, yes, I would absolutely die to be a part of their server. I would give my left nut, but I don't know if that will ever happen or can ever happen. Um, and if you guys have suggestions on how to get their attention, that would be great. But I really don't know that I'd want to try and lower myself to being that guy that, you know, advertises in their videos or says, hey, look at me, look at me. Because, I mean, I get thousands of comments like that and PMs like that. Check me out, check me out, check me out, check me out. Look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. And I've never been about that. I think that's, although it's... It, I, I definitely feel you. I understand it is hard to get noticed. It took me years to get to where I am now. But it's just the way it is. It's the way it is, and I'm sure if I PM'd anyone on Minecraft, they would just ignore it. So, I don't know. Um, that being said, though, there is a, I guess, sort of tryouts for another server that... It's not my first choice. Minecraft would be my first choice, but definitely a server that I definitely respect. And um, is that ugh, it's horrible that I don't remember his name offhand. That JL or JB twenty something. I can't believe I don't remember. But you know who I'm talking about when I talked about making the Ender Farm. Uh, you know, in their server they made what is the most efficient uh, Ender Farm to date. And have done so many other things beyond my knowledge. It's absolutely incredible. But anyway, I'm rambling. They are having tryouts for their server. And I can upload a video and attach it to that. And um, I'm considering doing it. And seeing if I can be a part of their server. I don't know that they choose me. Because I'm sure there's people that are far better than me at Minecraft. That are applying. But... I may be one of the bigger YouTubers that would apply and, um, you know, could hopefully help get them more exposure on their server. And uh, I think it would be fun. I'd learn a lot and I'd definitely be able to YouTube quite a bit. So let me know what you think about that, whether you'd like to see me try out for their server. Um, I think their contest or whatever ends Sunday, so I'll probably, you'll see a video of me that's uploaded specifically for that on my channel. Um, next! Yes, very frequently in every video I get this comment. What is that sound? Oh my god, what is that? It is the, it's either the, the chair or desk that I'm on. Um, because I'm on a laptop and because I have to have two chill pads, um, I can't really sit at a desk. And um, so I'm sitting in like a recliner with a card table next to me. And I put my mouse up on that. And then the laptop goes on my lap, of course. That's what a laptop does. And I have to leave area for the fans to go between my legs. So that also sounded horrible. <laughs> but yeah, that's how I have to record. And another big reason to why I would like to have a desktop so I would not have to record like this anymore. That's pitiful. I only got 21 spider eyes in that time. Really what I need to do is AFK here for like half an hour and then kill them all. So I think that's done with the spider farm. I need a new shovel. So I think we're going to go over to the ender farm and use that. But yeah. Still need to do a lot of work in this project. I need to... I should probably do a cave spider one for this. That would really be the best. But... Let's take those with me. And... Let's see. Is there anything else here that I want to bring it back? Do not need all this iron here. And the rest I think I will keep here just in case I need it. What's that? That's... Power one. I grab you. Um, Alright. I think that's good. I will take the stone. Because I do need that. 
And again, this episode is just to reply to comments. I'm just kind of playing I, so that there's something to be there while I'm talking. And you may despise so I'm doing an episode like this. Oh, and that spider spawner portal. Because the spider spawner is so low on the ground, it's at like level 28, I think, or maybe even lower. Um, when you go into the portal up there, it goes to it. But then when I come back, it always takes me to this one, which is the one for the where the sizzler and the cow farm is. Which is kind of convenient, because I don't have to run back. Every time I go there, I just come back here anyway. So I'm debating whether I should fix that and move the portal it would be like over there and drop it down or whether i should just leave it like that knowing that i'd always want to come out and go to this portal so i don't know let me know what you think about that what was i talking about i was saying oh lost my train of thought Oh yeah, I think I was talking about my chair sounds. Yeah, so anyway, another reason why I, I need to get a desktop. But, yeah, don't see that happening anytime soon. So, oh, we need to make a mushroom farm soon so that we can start using these spider eyes to uh, make damage potions. Because I do want to update some of our where our crushers are. Uh, with spider eyes. I think the damage, instant damage potions, though, might only work on the blaze. Um, I don't think they work on any, like, dead mobs, so, like, it wouldn't work on skeletons or zombies. I've never tested it. I've never had them before. Um, so I don't know. And I've also heard they don't work on endermen. But I don't know if, what, why that would be. Because I can understand why... It wouldn't do damage to something that's dead that's kind of a neat twist, but Enderman? What, what the hell is an Enderman? They're like moon men or Martians or something. Aliens. So you'd think that they would work there. I always have this on instant kill, but the reason I built this here is because I liked how it looked like popcorn jumping for the little slimes. We need to update our slime farm too. Alright, so... Let's go over to the Blaze Farm. Let's dump out the rest of our stuff. Man, I am just ADD like crazy today. And... Yeah. So, the next thing that I wanted to talk about... Next comments. Let's just dump all these guys out quickly. And I gotta get diamonds. Alright, sure sounds. We already talked about that. Uh, world download issues. I still see in the comments that people are having issues with the world downloads. Um, I don't know if there's a new issue or if that's still the, you know, the current issue. I, I have no idea. And I would like to know if you guys... You know, people that have been able to download my videos, if there's a newer problem um, in the world downloads or if it's just the same old one. And the problem is basically because I use WinRAR to zip the files, um, not everyone has WinRAR to unzip them. And I, I think there's other programs you can use to unzip the files, but... Um, more or less, I wanted to bring this up because I want to know what, where, what's a free program? Where's a free program that I can download that will be a better way to zip the files? Um, I, I said that I was going to get around to it, but I really don't know. And I don't feel like asking a million people individually. So if you know, if you do this too, tell me what's a better program to use that everyone will be able to unzip and get my world downloads. And also, if there's a newer problem from the world downloads, let me know. Um, Xbox tournament, which you may or may not know. I uploaded a video about it. I'm still trying to come up with the rules for that that would be better. Um, crap, I didn't need to take this. But, um, yeah, we're having, it is in 
July on the 21st. How did you get here? Get the hell out of here. It is July 21st. It's going to be in uh, New Jersey. And I'll leave the link for it. But I think it should be pretty cool. Um, in it, we're going to have more of a uh, P versus P aspect for it. But it's going to be on the Xbox 360. Um, we don't have it set up on the internet or anything like that. So it's going to be split screen. And um, the scoring system for it is going to be based on after a certain time period. I had said 20 minutes. We might up it to 25 minutes. But at the end of 25 minutes, what are... You know, based on what your inventory is. Um, so, like, for instance, diamond would probably be worth the most. And then gold, and then iron, and then, you know, redstone would be mixed in there. And you got to, you know, figure most people aren't going to find the diamonds in 25 minutes. Some might, but, you know, who knows. But it, you got to find a way that's, that's easy for, you know, everyone. Because we're probably going to have a couple hundred people there. Um... You know, and we only have so many systems that people can play on for the split screen. So you can't, you know, ideally, yeah, you'd want to have the rounds be as long as possible. But we just can't have it that way in order to, uh, you know, fit everyone in in one day. Let me turn down my volume because this is going to kill me. All right. So, um... It's going to be a good time. I'll be there. Um, I'm also having a Pokemon event there on the same day. But um, definitely if you can make it out to New Jersey. I, I actually live in Connecticut. So it's probably a two to three hour drive just for me to get there as well. So, you know, if you, if you live close enough on the East Coast, definitely check it out. It'll be fun. You get to meet me. You can ask me anything. Get a picture with me. Get an autograph. Anything like that. It's very cool. I love seeing fans. I've done this before, by the way, for uh, Pokemon tournaments. But uh, it's our first time doing it for Minecraft. So I'm not going to really talk about it much more in this video. But um, I will have an update soon out with uh, exact rules for it. And you can also go back to any of my older videos that I talked about it if you want to hear more about it. Um... Let's see. People are talking about I should use mods. I should use mods. Come on. And so I use, I think it's pronounced Tekkit or something like that. I have no idea what that is. I don't know much about mods at all in the game. I've always played vanilla Minecraft. And uh, it's going to be how this Let's Play is going to be. Um, if I start something else up, I may, you know, use mods in that. But... In this Let's Play, we never, it's always going to be vanilla Minecraft. Um, I may, if if I get a new computer, I may try and start using some uh, texture packs. But if I did, it would just be what the normal Minecraft is, uh, but HD. Um, I think, like, Faithful is one of them. So, I possibly... Like I said, I, it's just, it causes more, you know, my computer to overheat if I use those things. So I really have to use the least amount of stuff as possible. But I don't mind that. I, I enjoy the standard texture pack. I, I like vanilla Minecraft. Um, however, I may... It's kind of... Oh, crap. I may start up a series with a couple of friends doing a... Uh, a server um, with a Pokemon theme, a Pokemon uh, um, texture pack and mods. So that could be kind of cool. And it'll probably only be like five to ten episodes long. And um, I think so far I have Hayden and Shofu. If you're into Pokemon, you know who they are. But um, I want to try and get a couple of Pokemon guys and a couple of just straight Minecraft guys and form teams and have some type of thing where you go find uh, you know find the Pokemon catch them and use them to fight the other team so I think that should be pretty cool and then we'll all be in a Skype call of course so and something a little different and new um of course if I get into a server I would like to start doing, you know, things like Ultra Hardcores or Hunger Games or, you know, whatever the other people on the server are doing. 
and those are all things to look forward to, but I need to find a server first that I want to be a part of. Um, snapshots. Why am I not using the snapshots? Um, it's because I don't want them, because of some crazy bug that's in them, to be a part of my game. I want to wait until all the bugs are fixed, and then I'll add them into this Let's Play world. I also don't want to have something that's broken that they later modify um, that I'm able to take advantage of. I, I think that would... I don't want to have... I, I consider that cheating. Like, for instance, with Silk Touch, you used to be able to pick up uh, spawners with it and move a spawner. Well, I do not want, you know, to think that something's cool to use and spend all this time working on it and using it to just then find out that it's been cut and it's broken. So I'm not going to be using snapshots ever until the actual official updates come out. And again, it's just so that bugs don't screw up my world and so that, you know, I don't use, you know, things that are unfair in my world. Um, Mob farms. Some people asked... Because of the new change of XP, do I think this Ender Farm is worth it? You know, um, it was such a big build, took so many resources, and so the whole point is to try and get to level 50 XP as quickly as possible. Well, now that it's only going to be level 30 that you need, is that really necessary? No, it wasn't necessary, but... It's still faster, if I don't want to AFK, it's still faster than the Blaze Farm. Um, and being able to, I said, I was able to get this down. Like, see how I have this, I still got to work on this area up here, but see how I have this all blocked in now? Um, there should be almost very, very little amount of XP down here like there was before. So, after fixing that up, I was able to get this down to under 10 minutes to get me to level 50. Which, right now, I'm... I don't know. Uh, I was able to get a under 10 minutes, so therefore, getting to level 30, it should take me 5 minutes or less. Well, that in itself, and not having to AFK for 30 minutes like on the Blaze Farm, just to get to level 30, uh, it, it definitely, I think, is worth it. Not to mention, you know, a lot of projects that I do and are gonna do... They're not necessary. I don't need them. I do them because I enjoy the project itself. Um, I enjoy the accomplishment. And I, I think that that's, it's a lot of fun. That's jumping. I mean, in the end, yeah, the game's probably not worth it. <laughs> but I do it, and I play it, and I do these things because I enjoy the making of them, the building. Um, and getting this at the end, it's nice, but... Uh, it, it the fun was in building it itself so yes this farm was definitely worth it 100% and I guess I would do it again um, I'd probably make a couple changes but you know we can always in the future make another better uh, Enderman farm um, I had heard that they either now or in after the 1.3 comes out enderman may be able to climb up ladders so if that's the case that might be kind of cool coming out with uh another way to uh design the trap the, definitely i may make another one we can make an infinite number of things in the end it is just limitless so yeah um Video length. I talked a little bit about that when we first started up the video. Um, I would be able to come out with more videos if I had a shorter length of them. Um, and part of the reason why they've been so long is just I feel like I don't want to stop the video until I've actually accomplished something. And I don't want to cut out too much. Which part of is just because of the effort of video editing it takes a lot longer to go through and have to rewatch the video and figure out what I need to cut out and you know I'm still this is only what going to be episode 32 or 33 I'm still getting better and learning on how to make these videos better and edit them better and what I need to show and what I don't need to show and I mean if you guys think that I'm going overkill on how much I'm showing when building if you don't care now, I mean, it's been kind of a mixture between tutorial style and Let's Play style. 
but if you want me to really just not show how I build things and just sort of skip ahead or, you know, speed edit them, I, I can do that. And yes, the episodes can be a lot shorter. Um, but another thing I could also do is sort of like with this video, even though this part isn't like an official video, I can, um, I can just split them in half, say goodbye in the middle, and then uh, upload the next one the next day. And, uh, you know, it, it's really the same thing. You don't have to watch a full video in one sitting. You can watch half of it and then come back the next day and finish it. But, um, you know, let me let me know what you think about that. And, I mean, I will always have at least 30-minute videos. And if I, you know, and then I'd be able to have the next video out, you know, that next day or the day after. Or even at the same time. But, um, you know, it, it's something I need to be concerned about because... Not many other people have videos that are, you know, an hour long. You know, and if they do, it's usually not so often. So, I think that is actually just about everything that I wanted to talk about. As far as questions, um, I've been getting a lot of people telling me, you know, this is where this spawner is, this is where that spawner is. Um... Yeah, I, to be honest, I probably know where I, I know where about a dozen other spawners are that we haven't yet found in the Let's Play, and you know it's because I can't do everything all at once, and you know I have other projects in my head planned out that I've been planning for months, um, but I just haven't talked about them yet. So you know, thank you for letting me know, but it's not necessary. If you find something, like, incredible, like, dual or triple spawners, definitely tell me. But, um, for just single spawners, it's not really a big deal. And, like, I've heard probably since episode one, as soon as I started giving the seed and world downloads, I know that there is a spider spawner and a skeleton spawner underneath my base. Um, I know it's there. Um but I just haven't wanted to use it yet. I will plan on using it at some point. I still want to do a lot of work on my base itself, but, um, you know, I, I haven't decided how I want to incorporate them yet. We have a lot to go in this Let's Play still, a lot. We are just breaking the surface. And, um, you know, once I'm able to explore more, we are going to be looking at, you know, I, I found where the uh, mushroom biome is. Uh, thanks to help of some of the subscribers, uh, we found the mushroom biome. And I don't want to go looking for it. I don't want to, I've never personally been there, but I've been told that, uh, where it is. And as soon as 1.3 comes out, that'll probably be one of our first projects is to go and find it. But uh, I can't go there yet because I don't want to uh, render chunks that I've not yet been to. Just so that we don't miss out on any of the new cool changes. Almost there. Almost there. I really got to make this killing thing better. So close. So close. Um, yeah. Can't wait till it's only level 30. Alright. So let's switch this back over. I gotta move this switch also up to the top so I don't have to do that. Very annoying. I may take out this whole water thing here. But I still have to finish up another project up there before I do that. Anywho, um, I want to make a new shovel. So, I think that's going to be about it for this episode. I've rambled on for long enough. What the hell am I looking for? I got it in my inventory. I think that's going to about do it, but I'll probably, as long as you guys didn't absolutely hate this, it wasn't god-awful, which it could be. I don't know. I haven't watched it yet. But um, I'll probably respond to comments more in this fashion, and every so often I'll have either just a little bit in a normal video, or I'll even make possibly a full video like this about it. Also, I want to thank a lot of people that have told me, oh, look at that. 
have told me uh, suggestions for better enchanting levels. I'm still I I'm still convinced that going level 48, 49, 50 are probably the best for at least pickaxes, shovels, and stuff like that. It does get the highest percentage, but um, I'm just I'm afraid to test with other stuff. But I want to thank all of you that have taken the time to do that. And I think we are going to end off the episode now. So thank you all for watching. And let me know what you thought of this style of video. Whether it was garbage or uh, if I should do more stuff like this every so often. So thank you for watching. And yeah, peace out.